What's going on swim fans? In part two of our video series, we're working on our breaststroke kick. Now, if you didn't already watch the video on timing, make sure you watch that. The entire video series is going to be right here. Today, we're working on the breaststroke kick. And I really believe that 70 to 80% of your breaststroke is determined by the kick. This is a little bit different than freestyle and the other strokes where you can swim with just your arms and not even kick and you can still go pretty fast. In breaststroke, that's not the case. So today we're talking about the kick and how important it is and we're gonna work on a few different drills and I'm gonna go through a drill progression with the My Swim Pro app. I'm gonna have guided drills right there on my wrist every step of the way. Then we're gonna finish with a nice little set of five 100s and we're gonna finish with a 100 breaststroke, perfect. At the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you a few pro tips so that way you can maximize not only your kicking efficiency, but also everything that you do in the water. If you guys are ready, I'm ready, let's go. Today's drill set is powered by the My Swim Pro app and my Apple Watch. Now I have the entire workout laid out for me. It's set by set. And after a short warm up that we're gonna do freestyle, I'm gonna do all the strokes to improve my feel of the water. And then we're gonna get into the main drill session. So because we're working on technique, I'm going to do 1625's drill with four different drills. So we're gonna go through each drill four times. And the first one, focusing on the kick, is streamline kick on my front. The way this works, I'm gonna push off in a nice streamlined position. And I'm actually just gonna hold that right at the surface level of the water. I'm gonna focus on being tight all the way from my fingertips through my torso. And I want my heels to extend up and actually touch my butt on every single kick. Now the way you breathe when you do this drill is simply lifting your head up. Sometimes people will actually do like a front skull. I just like keeping my hands in streamline, lift up my head, get a breath, and then put my head back into the streamlined position. Remember the breaststroke kick is up, out, around, and together. And the difference between a breaststroke kick and the other strokes, whether it's butterfly, freestyle, or backstroke, in those kicks, you actually point your toes. So when you're doing the dolphin motion or the flutter kick, you're pointing your toes. In breaststroke, you have to flex your feet. So a lot of beginner swimmers actually struggle with this, but even if you're an advanced swimmer, it's really important to break down the kick into its fundamental components because that's how you're gonna get the most leverage by really flexing and increasing the flexibility of your feet. And then at the finish of the kick, your feet will actually touch each other and you can point your toes at that point. But it's most important to focus on flexing your feet. The second drill we're gonna do is called heel tag on your front. So instead of having your hands in a streamlined position, you're actually gonna drop your hands to right over your butt and you actually wanna tag your heels with your fingers on every kick. This is gonna focus on increasing the range of motion, really engaging your hamstrings, and you should really kick with this range of motion all the time, but by doing this drill and focusing on it, it's really gonna encourage you to maximize that range of motion. Now, when you're doing this kicking drill, you are going to be on your stomach and you might be thinking, well, how do I breathe? You actually wanna time the breath, just like the last drill, as if you're doing the full stroke, you're just not using your arms. The way that works, you're just gonna lift your head up for a breath and then kick and then glide. If you remember from the last series, we focused on timing, pull, kick, glide. So this time we're not doing any pull, we're just focusing on the kick, which is about 80% of the stroke anyway. So you lift your head up for a breath and then you put it back down and really kick and leverage that glide. Now for the third drill in this series, we're gonna do heel tag on our back. Now this is actually a little bit easier because you can breathe the entire time Instead of focusing on the timing of the breath, you're just gonna focus on keeping your heels deep under the water. You don't want your knees to break the surface of the water. So if you were to draw a line from your kneecap all the way through your shoulders and your head, that would ideally be a straight line. You can see with me, I'm trying to do my best to keep my body parallel to the surface of the water and my heels are driving back to tag my hands on every single kick. Another thing to keep in mind is how wide your knees come apart. So when you're doing the breaststroke kick, you don't want your knees to go too far apart because even though you're gonna have a bigger frog kick, you're gonna increase the amount of resistance that you make. And when you're on your back, it's really easy to focus on this. So make sure your knees stay underneath the surface of the water and also make sure they don't go too far apart. And a good rule of thumb is to keep your knees at about your shoulder width. So this is really gonna focus on increasing your flexibility. Remember, you wanna flex your feet up, out, around, and together. And for the fourth and final drill, you're gonna do streamline kick on your back. I call it slob. 
And the way this works, you're actually just gonna be in a streamlined position, just like you were, where you're focusing on bringing your heels underneath the water, you're in streamline instead of having your hands at your side, and from your fingertips all the way to your kneecap, you wanna keep that straight line, focus on driving your heels back, get that range of motion, engage your hamstrings and your glutes, and then really push out the water with the bottoms of your feet. This is a different kicking style than flutter kick and dolphin kick, and that's why it's so important to focus on developing the skill in different planes of motion, whether it's above the water, under the water, on your back, or on your front. So once you put it all together, you're gonna to be swimming breaststroke so much more efficiently than before, because remember the kick is about 80% of the total propulsion. I can kick pretty fast without using my arms in breaststroke, and I can do that for a long time. The same can't be said for myself at least for freestyle and butterfly. So the next part of the workout is going to be applying these drills to a short set that we can practice this technique. So I'm gonna do five 100s where I alternate between breaststroke and freestyle, and I'm gonna have perfect technique. The first one is 100 freestyle, then a 25 breaststroke, 75 free, then a 50 breast, 50 free, then a 75 breast, 25 free, and then the last one, you guessed it, it's a 100 breaststroke, and I'm gonna go off the diving block to make it count. You don't have to go that fast, just really work on developing power per stroke, and remember, you wanna drive the propulsion from your kick. Really focus on developing that kick, don't rush it, Breaststroke is a very technical stroke and you can always improve. So make sure you check out the My Swim Pro app to get a personalized training plan so you can swim faster and smarter than ever before. Hope you guys enjoyed that workout video and all the different drills. If you enjoyed this video, you're gonna love the next one in this series on how to improve your breaststroke pull. I'll see you guys over there and happy swimming.